My name is Fang Bing. I'm an electronic and information engineering graduate. I graduated from the university in 2014. Mr. Fang believes in do well, do good. In 2016, he co-founded High Robotics to leverage artificial intelligence in addressing the pain points of warehouse operation, achieving automation with minimal hardware modification. The company went on to become the first unicorn startup nurtured under PolyU's entrepreneurial ecosystem. The resulting product, HiPIC, is the world's first autonomous case-handling robot that transports individual totes and cartons instead of the whole racks to workers, boosting warehouse operation efficiency and storage density by up to 400%. It now serves customers from over 30 countries and regions and earned the RBR50 Robotics Innovation Award for the company in 2022. High Robotics has even filed over 1,800 patent applications worldwide. PolyU is where our initial idea for Hypeak emerged, where I met one of the other co-founders of High Robotics, Richie Chen, and where we, as undergrads, gained lots of hands-on experience of robotics and entrepreneurship. I'm thankful for all the support PolyU has given to budding technopreneurs like us while guiding us through the initial hardship. Mr. Fong has played a crucial role in facilitating collaboration between PolyU and High Robotics, including the launch of the smart delivery system in the university's new artificial intelligence and robotics lab that not only strengthens robotics education, but also encourages co-creation and innovation among students and researchers. Entrepreneurship requires persistence, dedication, and courage. To all those interested in starting their own business, I will tell them not to give up amid difficulties. Instead, stay focused and persist on the right path. Fast growth entrepreneurial ventures are essential for prosperity and social progress. Mr. Fong's success story is a great inspiration to all entrepreneurs to be and a case in point that exemplifies Polly Yu's endeavor to foster entrepreneurial culture.